We're now going to have a steady walk through the component parts of a bag valve mask. First part is the face mask itself. It has a soft cushioned rubber surface that gives a good cushion and a good seal to the face to allow the oxygen to work and get into the airway itself. Starting with the inflation cuff, we can blow the cuff up or deflate the cuff with a one-way valve using a syringe. Also the shape of the mask itself. There is a pointed part and the pointed part goes to the bridge of the nose to give you a good seal and a good face fit. There is then a one-way valve and a blow-off valve. In case pressure gets too high, the blow-off valve will release the pressure so we can't over-inflate. There is then a silicon bag which fills with oxygen from the oxygen cylinder with a handle on the top which goes over the top of your hand so you don't put the bag down and so the bag is easier to use without having to put it down. There is then a plastic bag at the back which fills with oxygen from the cylinder. This bag fills the silicon bag and the silicon bag fills the patient. There is also an oxygen port to take oxygen directly from an oxygen cylinder to drive the bag. With all this in place on an oxygen cylinder it gives a 98% oxygen loading to the patient. Each breath should only take one second and each squeeze is one breath. This particular bag is an adult bag. They also come in paediatric size which is obviously a lot smaller but you can also change the face mask itself for a smaller face mask and use the same bag on a smaller child but just using much less pressure does exactly the same job but we don't need to put the whole amount of air in we can just reduce the size of the face mask. These face masks are also extremely useful for anybody that's had a tracheotomy because they fit over a trachea really effectively to breathe through a tracheotomy vent rather than over an adult face mask as an adult face mask is rather large for going over a stoma.